All right, we are going to replace the air filter on a 2015 Taurus, and I'm going to try to do it with one hand so I can show you the video. Uh, they usually get $40 or $50 if you're at an oil change place. This was $13.50 from Amazon. I'll put the link on there. You can also get it at probably Walmart or any parts store. But this doesn't require any tools. Definitely not on this car and usually not on any others. You just need to kind of look around and see where the clips are. In this particular model, it slides in. There's plastic tabs in the back and it slides in on this side. And on this side, you've got two metal clamps. So if you come in and you pop those off, you're not going to be able to see it very well. So now the clamps are off. You just have to slide it back a little bit. Let me see if I can do it with one hand to show you. There we go. So we slid it back and it pops up. You shouldn't have to disconnect anything either to do this. The wires aren't terribly long, but it should be enough to get it over the lip here. That way you can get in, get the old one out. And you stick the new one in and then clamp it back together. Very simple. Let me, let me pause the video and do one of it going in now. There's the older gray one I pulled out and the new one. I like to make sure they're going to fit first because you never know sometimes what you can end up with. What I always do is I keep the end off the box and I throw it in a folder. I write the mileage on. That way I know the exact number I'm going to need next time I need to do this. And I know the last time I did it. They're rated at 12,000 miles. We just got through pollen season up here. So they're probably pretty clogged. Let's see if we can get this down in here with one hand. Should have got a little tripod or something, I guess, but that'll work. Yeah, all right, so I'm just gonna sit it right in the box. Oh boy, watch beeping. All right, you get it sitting in the box, you wanna make sure it's flush. And then all you're going to do is move it back enough that you can get these plastic tabs under the edge. If you see, those plastic tabs will go right into that lip. Let's see if you can see it. Kind of get it angled in a little bit better. So now it's in, and you just jam it forward enough. So now it's in the way it's supposed to be. And now, you should be able to pop all of these little, both, I shouldn't say all, these two little clamps back on. And that's it. Sorry for the shaky camera, but I thought I'd get a better angle if I did it like that. Yeah, so it's flush and you're good to go. It takes you a couple minutes and probably save you 20 or 30 bucks. Anyway, if you like the little tips and tricks, hit like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any suggestions for other things you'd like me to do, let me know. I got some free time on my hands. Thanks.